Hey, all you out there. It's me, Jermaine Calando. <laughs> I'm back with another video. I'm going to give you something I've given y'all in so long. I'm here for now. So this is for YouTube only. Yes. Um, I'll give y'all some other stuff for the other stuff like that. But basically, I have not done myself. Uh, I've given myself a little misjustice and I've been letting my hair be free for a while. So, I'm going back to protect the stylings until kind of like two weeks. So, what I haven't done in a long time is give myself twists. I've been trying to give myself two strand twists for like a long time. So, I think I'm going to have my hair twisted up until the 20th of this month. Y'all won't know, y'all won't see it, and you know, y'all won't really see it like that. And then I'm going to give you different videos. Today's video is me giving you wash day. And I'll give you like a series of what kind of stuff I've been going, like what I've been using and everything. First and foremost, I'm going to be adding this bottle. This bottle right here is about to be something big. And what that, I mean, it's about to be my detangler. And then it's going to be my L. Um, for those who don't know this, first and foremost, I'm Jamaica Lando. <laughs> I am five years natural. Become a signature natural pretty soon. My hair is this long. This, like, it's right here. So it's like right here on my body. So I am that long. <laughs> so that's length retention. Let me give you more of a uh, steps. I've been natural since 2015 when I started my weight loss journey. So it's kind of like coral side. I had gained weight, lost weight, and all that kind of stuff. But also, I had started my my natural hair journey in that same token. This is the first video back to kind of the basics. Me showing you wash day is a hard process, <laughs> but it's easy as well. I don't have my equipment in here because I don't film in here anymore. This is Studio A. I now film in Studio Room. So it's a very different, like, thing. So first and foremost, what I'm using today is, like, as a starter, I'm going to use either hot water. For my wash days, what I do is this. I'm going to tell you what I do, and I'm kind of going to show you how I'd like to tangle and stuff like that another time. This is just pretty much me showing you the products I use, and you get used to me again. Tink! <laughs> so, my product line is my go-to. Still, for me, it's um, Shea Moisture. This is the line I'm using. Something fell. It's right here. This is Shea Moisture's by Jamaican Castle Oil Line. This is the Strength and Restore. This is the shampoo. I have the shampoo, the conditioner, then I use the mask, and then lastly, I use the leave-in conditioner. Sometimes I use the, the smoothie. Now, how products work is this. I should be using the smoothie, the conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, and like an oil. So for myself, how I like to operate, I like to use mostly organic ingredients and stuff like that. So I do not naturally always use everything. For me to keep my hair for a long period of time, I'm going to be using just a leave-in conditioner, uh, oil of my choice, which is my oil mix. Let me show you a little bit. This is my oil mix that I made, and I'll show y'all this in another video once this is gone. <laughs> And what else do I use? So I'll be using those two. And then like as my sealant is an L. I use L because L stands for liquid. Then O stands for it. <laughs> o. And C is kind of like conditioner or cream. So that's what LLC is. Let me say that first and foremost. What an LLC is one more time. So I call it the lock method. It is a very known method that most people use. If you're a new natural, if you're starting your TWA, let me change hands. If you're starting your TWA and everything like that, you're like learning what to do with your hair, basically. How often do you wash your hair? For me, it's every two weeks. For your TWAs, you probably wash your hair maybe three to four times a week because it's so small. And you like the feeling of like freshness and newness and stuff. So, for me... <laughs> I will probably wash my hair today, as y'all see this now. And when you see this, it's me wash. But I'm like, I'm like, this is just fresh. This is hair that I kind of. This is a little worn down hair, just a little bit. It looks really good still. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna film and use this hair for a video, but I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna give y'all this, so you'll see my hair kind of styled for pop day, and then you'll see this, <laughs> right? So first and foremost, what do you do? 
as a natural, you have to do a pre-poo or you just... Okay, some people like what's pre-poo. Pre-poo is mostly like me. I like to either use a leave conditioner to like help detangle or as my um my personal thing I like to have my like a mix so I like that as <laughs> aloe vera juice and peppermint oil kind of to help like revive like mm, get it ready and then I use it as like a detangler so I like to detangle my hair and then for my detangle this is going to be just me telling you what I'm going to do the video will pop up next week apparently <laughs> so from that I use it to tangle, then I try my best to have my hair kind of like, I try to do twists, so it kind of just helps the process of my hot detangling process is going on, and when I detangle, that's what's going on. From that, <laughs> I go from that to shampoo, then condition, then mask. I use my mask for about five to ten minutes. Some people like to use like a, you do more for a mask. Mask takes 15 minutes max. You don't need a mask for all day. It's not an all day thing. It's just a few. Now you do a DIY that's different. What kind of DIY do I use? My DIY is my oil mix. That's what this is. This is a whole thing of like my hair being all healthy and growth because of this mix right here that I made myself. I have been thinking about like making a mix for everyone out there, but it's a very expensive mix. It's gonna be like probably 15 to 20. So, <laughs> Let me kind of come right back and I'll show you how I'm making it. I'm using this right here as my main ingredient. This is aloe vera juice, for those that don't know. <laughs> and also, this, I got a little ruined. This is peppermint oil. And I use these two, and that's what's going to go in that pink bottle. That pink bottle is going to be my very much everything <laughs> for pre pooing and then also wash day. From that to the line I just showed you. And then after that, I'm going to show you how my twist turned out. So, I gave you kind of this recommend of all that. Let me go ahead and start having some fun. So, honestly, what I'm telling you to do is this is wash day. You watch this for wash day and you're not really getting all the videos. I have videos prior. So, you can watch those. <laughs> Nothing's changed that much. Just, I kind of am quicker now, mostly. But, um, what I was going to say to you. For wash day, for those hated, like I always sometimes dread wash day because sometimes wash day takes way longer than it's supposed to. So I'm doing it when I'm doing it right now. So I'm calm, relax, relate, release. So I like to get in a vibe. I believe in either doing ratchet music, doing R&B, old school. It's a classic for me. Rock music for those that want to flip their hair around. Just a little, you know, do it. <laughs> Anything works just for your own calmness, right? So, what I'm telling you to do is this. Have your music on, detangle. If you feel a little tag, spray, spray, spray. And then, you know, just a little room. I like to do a finger detangle mostly. I do have utensils. I'll show you all the what I've been doing and stuff like that. If this video gets to 200 to 300 um, views, I'll show you more. I'll, I'll do like that because that's how I rock. I believe in getting it that far along and we'll do more. But all in all, my line has not changed. My go-to line is Shea Moisture. For those that ask this question, why my go-to line has not changed? Because it's kind of a good staple. Black Jamaican Castle Oil line is actually what most people use in their hair. And it's a very much necessity. They've changed the formula just a little bit. This has Shea Moisture, which is Shea Butter. Shea Butter. Shea Butter. It deep leaves moisture and while conditions hair and scalp, so that's good for your hair and scalp. Then it has special castor oil. It's loaded with proteins, minerals, and vitamin E for healthy, long-looking <laughs> hair. And it has peppermint, where it invigorates the scalp with a tingling experience. Also, for those that all saw that mix, saw that bottle, that is diluted because of, I'm going to dilute what's in the spray bottle, what's in the um, peppermint oil with the aloe vera juice. That's important for me to say to y'all because you can't use it on your scalp because that would give you more of a tingle tingle. Like a whoo. <laughs> and you don't feel like a oh no. And that's not always a good thing. That's a central oil. So I'll give you more information if you want information. I'll give you more stuff in a few seconds. But for right now, this is how I'm looking. Look a little crazy. But let's give it a little shake. Yeah, look adorable. Alright, let me be right back with y'all. Give me a second. Alright, so let me give you a little bit more of a recap. 
<laughs> so what's right here is what I just told you I was going to mix it with. And that's what I'm doing now. First and foremost, to all you out there, always be like, what's, what's, why do you always do this first? I'm going to keep spraying just a little bit. Just a little bit more. You do this process because, truly, when you do your hair, when you want to make your hair grow, and honestly, you should always make sure you wet your hair. You should never do your hair, never do your hair, never have wash day with dry hair. When you do a pre-poo, that's to make sure your hair is wet, moisturized, and so whatever do you, when you do the shampoo, because the shampoo is just truly for the skip. Like right here, this little, this little section, this little section there, I just moved my hair like it was going to all just move out of my way. Um, <laughs> pretty much this is what you do. You're going to try your best to, if you can reach your scalp and try your best to moisturize it. Either use a mix or whatever you choose. And then for me, I'm going to do tangle. Finger just tangle first next weekend. I'm going to do all this off camera so you're going to see that next. This is the recap. Then I'm going to do a shampoo condition. And then I'm going to go with mask. You'll see that next. And then <laughs> you'll see my hair styled. And that's kind of how this is one's going to go. Right? So let me go ahead and finish the tangling. All right, with this side. This is to calm your hair. Why are we doing this? It's to calm the balance. You're going to calm the balance because once you do the shampoo, it kind of raises it. It cleanses your hair and also needs moisture back. Moisture back. If you are natural, if you have type 2 to type 4 C. You need this balance. Okay, so we're gonna do that first and foremost. Get your mix ready like this. Spray away. You like that. <laughs> and then from that, we'll just go ahead and go with the next process. Okay? Alright, see. Alright. <laughs> this is how my hair is looking right now. What did you see is right now? What, what process is this? This is at the pre-poo. So my mind let it just spread all that down. Okay, so first and foremost, what does this mean? This process is done. Now it's time to add this. So this is the shampoo. Now, how many times do you use shampoo? I will recommend one to two times. This is to all you out there out there like, what do you mean? If you wash your hair twice a week, wash your hair with shampoo once a week, and then do a conditioner or like deep conditioning, like once a week or twice a week, it's up to your hair. Learn your hair, listen to your hair. This is one, that's one, and also it's this right here. <laughs> this is the conditioner to the shampoo. And then what I do after that, I use a mask. My mask is already in the shower. I'm not gonna take it out for y'all. So what does this mean? How I wash my hair is this. My hair is in eight twists. So my hair, while I shampoo, I like to make sure I get right here. And if I feel like it, my hair needs it, then I'll put it all the way through. This is where around out there like, what do you mean? If your hair is very short, shampoo your hair all the way through. Condition your hair all the way through. It's just to cleanse your hair. To cleanse all your hair. It's really for your roots to really just thrive again. Because all of what you put in your hair kind of comes like, ooh, after a time. So, what I'm telling you to do right now, this is very much handheld. So, please don't mind me giving you a little bit of a trip. <laughs> so, what I'm telling you right now is this. Shampoo, condition, mask. Mask, 10 to 15 minutes. Take your break, wash your body, take a break, do something fun, take a break, do a little dance break. Be careful with that mask in your head. And then take the mask out, and then you do your lock method. See? Simple. Right? You're not getting the full version of this. This is taking like, this took about maybe seven minutes? It took about two songs for me to do this. So, as you see, like, me weighing my hair, my hair is not ready. Also, it helps getting little tangles out. You see the tangles at the bottom. So, it helps with wash process where I can get the tangles out more when I finish the products. You know what I'm saying? Ready? Let's go. <laughs> hey, um, this is after the shampoo conditioning and actually deep conditioning. So, if you don't know this, a lot of people will tell you this. <sighs> Sometimes you can do your hair in a shower. Which is really good. So, I deep conditioned while I was in the shower. And then I was like, did one side to another side. So, this is how my twists look right now. This is kind of the chunky version of this. So, it's like four. Yeah, it's like the four on both sides. So, let me give you a little bit of a salon of what happened. I washed my shampoo with my hair. Then I had to take it out. Then I twisted into like from four to two. 
like these two, they're together. And then from that, I did the decondition. When I did the decondition, I decondition as the four. I mean, as the like one, two, three, four, all over my head, and back to these as I de as I wash it out. And that's how this is looking. Now let me show you what lock method is. <laughs> First, you use this. You don't have to because this is wash day. You just pretty much add all these conditions and stuff. You don't need to use this. This is my aloe vera juice in peppermint oil. So it's going to help regular my scalps. It's just something I normally do. So I, I'm going to do it today. And then I add my oil. This. Mm. You can do a LOC or LCO. And this is circular oil. And last but not least is going to be a version of this. this <laughs> this is the oh, let me see if we can get it yes it did yay the olive oil this is the shea moisture back to American gas oil leaf conditioner <laughs> and that's it so i'll be right back with my finished hairstyle so if you're like this is it yes i'll tell you all out there like if you can get your hair kind of like this some people don't do anything while this is like this and they'll like let your hair air dry i'm an air dryer personally too i don't use heat Mostly. I don't use heat at all for my hair. So I'm about to go ahead and then make this. So if you're asking what this process is about to be, I got you. This twist right here is going to make two, two, four twists. So it's like either I to separate and make two out of these out of four. I don't go too small because I don't believe in that. My hair is long. No. <laughs> it's already length. It's, I got my length retention. And I don't believe in going too small because that can cause problems. So, I'll be right back with the finished product. All right. <laughs> See you in a second. All right. This is it. This is the final result of it. So, you asked me the question of what did I do? I just, well, I kind of told you. This is a twist. This is how my hair looks. You go a little closer like this right here to examine. Like, a little bit like that. That's how my hair looks at the bottom. You see that? These little spiral curls, stuff like that. My hair is going to shrink a little bit more. My hair looks like this right now. When in the morning happens, it'll be different. You don't know what time I'm filming this, but you'll see all on social media for all week long. For two weeks. And it's about to be so cool. <laughs> so that's hair plan for me. I'm Jermaine Calando. And for more with me, go follow me on Instagram, Jermaine Calando. Facebook, Jermaine Calando. And if you want to support, I have a link somewhere like right now. Blah, 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 blah. And that's it. Let me see how my hair looks one more time. Just do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of liking it so much. I wanted to go a little smaller, but I was, I'm not going to lie. This is just good enough. All right. See you all the next one.